everyone, I'm Batsloth and welcome to another video. Today we're going to crew, more specifically, the Heritage Centre. So if you like trains and transport and all that kind of stuff, you might like this video. I've never been. Yeah, brother's taken us in his car. He's just passed his test, so he's very excited to drive. It's going to be about a two hour drive. But I'm super excited and I thought it'd be like a nice little thing to film. I really enjoyed making these vlogs that I videos back in September when I did the seven day upload challenge. So I thought it'd be nice to go out and do like another vlog style video where I can get some cool time lapses, go to a different place and just have a nice time. It's nice weather outside so hopefully it'll be good for filming. So I will see you in the car. Are you excited? Yeah. With this big ass train and the bus. The bus is cute. absolutely nothing about trains but I'm just happy to be here that is terrifying but I think that's for like maintenance and working underneath the train so the train like pulls onto it and then you can do stuff I think and if you're into tractors and JCB diggers there you go. And if you like stairs, well, that's for you. And a stand between two trains. You don't realise how high up they are until like, you stand in there. Like I'm five foot seven. And, like, that's pretty. That's pretty tall. I feel really awkward because like I'm not really giving you much information. I don't know a lot about trains, this kind of like dresses thing. I don't know, I'm just here to look at them. I thought it would be like an interesting day out to film. So here we are in the Crew Heritage Centre. Right there is where I was before. I decided to slap the buffer and I've got oil on my hand. Going to the second bath and it's open. Can you touch That's cool.
If you've got a train going, you need to clear the signals, one, two, and three, so you've got a train going that way. You don't really want to alter that set of points, do you? Because that will derail the train. But, you can't alter them, because the exit's locked. You put the signals back because the train's gone, that releases the points, and that's the principle of interlocking. So that guy who just said that this signal box is originally from Exeter in 1985 to be demolished it and then put it on a train and then moved it here and then all of the stuff I showed you like that's not like functioning but there's a bit upstairs that's functioning and it's all in colours so well, that was pretty cool, he's very nice. Yeah. That way it takes you to yes. London, Paddington, yes. or Bristol, yes. or the yes. rest of England. Yes. Yes. That line there, I'm still going to do. It's the one that goes along the Dorley Sea Wall, to Torquay, Paddington, and other. Communication with other signal boxes, it's not by telephone, and it's all done with bell codes. If you just pull that one, that one, pull that one, that's it, he's into it. <laughs> And there are six or seven signal boxes at Exeter. Not all this big. I'm 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I like that photograph there. That's how. That's this signal box when it was in Exeter. Wow. If I was to say how many commandments are there, you'd say there are ten commandments. There was the eleventh one at Exeter West, which said, "Thou shalt not make trains stop on the bank." He said that the reason why some of the things are hard to pull is because they're all like cables and they stretch for like half a mile. So that's pretty cool. It's very interesting. I'm glad I learned something. Do you want a video of the mini APT? Yes. A mini turntable, how cool is that? It says Spider Bridge, which is all this, and then if you look closely, it's got loads of like, it kind of looks like a modern bow, kind of, with little wheels and stuff. Probably getting the terminology absolutely wrong, but it's still cool. <coughs> got a Coach J, I mean, Coach E sticker thing. Look, look um, I'm waiting outside for Jeff and Alex, they're at the end the uh, gift shop thing and there's the track pen which is very cool so hopefully the train will go past but it's all right if not so far i've really enjoyed it here my favorite bit by far is the model trains they're really interesting and everyone has been really lovely they've been giving us loads of information and no one who works here is paid it's all volunteers it was like seven pound for an adult to get in which is pretty good it's just my wife
how close like Jess is to like truck right there. And then mm -hmm. that, like right there with the truck. And then that down there is crew station. There's a train. You can kind of like feel it like a lot like in your head, like the vibrations and stuff. Which is pretty cool. Just shit myself. This big fella trying to leave and he's just like, hello. There's a very specific smell in here. It's really cool, like there's just loads of them. And then here's the schematics. Schematics. And then it says really man. But that's really cool. Like, there's something about this that I would really like. Like it's very I don't know. Maybe it's because it's dark and it smells cool. <laughs> I don't know. That we go. That is crew station. These are all functioning ones, so you're not really allowed to touch them. We literally got out the car, and there's like three trains zooming past there, and now like we're one and like film it and like look at it and there's like none. Look at this fancy car. This fancy little car. Beep beep. That was a bit embarrassing, like me sprinting from like one side to the other to look at a train. But like, I wasn't the only one running, so fine. Holy shit, there's another one! I'd say that was worth the wait. Yeah. Yeah. 10 out of 10. I love trains. There's three trains in like the space of like a minute. It was great. Editing Aaron and put elevator music in this. I was trying to say, look how cool this car is. It's a fire brigade on. It's got all the rope on the front and stuff. And, I don't know, it's just cool. It's only 12 o'clock now, also, that's a really nice Ukraine, some Ukraine. Um, apparently we're going to the plane museum in Cosford, which is another like two hour drive away, but it's only 12 o'clock because we left last really early. So, an exciting, yeah, yeah. it's a very exciting day out.
So we've just got a um, salted caramel fudge frappe, which I'm very excited for. It's got... You have lost my brother though. Well, it doesn't matter because we've gotten one. But like, he has bits of fudge on it. I'm very excited for it. And then we'll get to the planes and the fun stuff. So I've never been here before. And it's got a ton of freaking planes. So yeah, cool. So that one over there you can sit in, but it's like more for kids. It's that one over there. The American sit in there. Got us to stop making it because it was really good. What's the one looking at? really big it's really cool in here like just seeing all the different planes and some of them are really like weird like there's some with like little sights on the tip of the nose Right, so I'm uh, just sitting down um, under this big ass plane. It's quite hard to film in here because it's so busy and there's so many kids and I'm trying not to film people's kids and it's really crowded and I'm honestly just having a good time. So the footage might be a bit limited, but at least we got crew and today like being here has just been like a fun little extra. You might not see much from here, but I'll definitely try to get back up here again because I love it and I'd love to come at a less busy time. It's just really hard filming around kids and people are shouting and, you know. But yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, this RAF museum, I'm sure, I think it's on like an RAF site anyway and they just have this like on the side but it's free to get in you just have to book online it's really interesting and some of these planes are absolutely massive they're either bigger than i expected or smaller than i expected there's some really weird like shape ones with some really like cool like designs like for the specific tasks that they do but i don't really know how many hangers there are because this is the second one that we've been in alex and jess are just in the shop but i love these types of places like these are like amazing these are the best days out but yeah Hope you're enjoying the video. If you want to like, you can leave a like and um, subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. And let me know where I should go um, in the comments because I just love these types of places. And like, if you know of any, let me know.